Hi, welcome to my channel. All right, here we are. We're going to be kicking off phase two on our safer at home project. And what I have here is I've got my drawings ready to go. I've got my art supplies here. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to do a series of ink line drawing overlays. And the pens I'm going to be using are my uh, trusty Sharpie Ultra Fine Point. Um, I also have my Stedler Tri Plus Fine Liner if I want to go in there and do some fine detail work. And at the very end, I'll strengthen all the line work with my uh, larger Sharpie pen. This one is called the, oops, sorry. This is called the Identa pen. And this is something that uh, I've just discovered. It's very much like a Sharpie, but um, it features a double head on it. So you've got your fine liner here on this end, and then you have uh, a, a, well, I guess what you say, a bullet nose at the other end. And I find that these work really well for, uh, for uh, marker concept sketches. So this is called the Identa Pen, and uh, I'll list uh, a source for that uh, somewhere in the video later on. Okay. And also what I have here, which took a little bit of a flying leap here, <laughs> was is a small binder clip. And uh, what I like to do is, and I'll show you as soon as we start sketching, is I like to clip together uh, my, my drawing, my underlay drawing, and my tracing paper drawing together so they don't move around when I'm doing my overlay drawing. Okay? So let's go ahead and pull all these things aside here. I won't need this backing sheet. I may bring the backing sheet in a little later. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with just using my Ultra Fine Point Sharpie here. And let's go ahead and pull our title page out and get started with our sketch. All right. So what I have here is the photograph of the space. I'm going to start with the exterior space. That's where we left off last. And then what I also do here, uh, and it's a really great practice. I, I, I share this with you guys all the time, is whenever you're sketching, overlays or wherever you're sketching period you always want to consider using a uh, uh, pad of paper or um, a stack of paper that i have here and what it just does is it just gives you a nicer smoother surface to sketch on and uh, and it won't telegraph whatever uh, imperfections you have on your drawing surface okay so i'm going to go ahead and i just saw a little sheet here that i want to pull away here and then we'll we'll start sketching all right all right and pull that away and here we go right, now i said before i like to clamp my papers together so that the tracing paper doesn't shift around as i'm drawing so i'll take my binder clip and just kind of clip it here at the top okay and uh, don't worry about it kind of lifting up your page you're okay if you want you can fold down this this tab here okay it won't hurt a thing and uh, i'm just going to go ahead and pull the pen off and your tracing paper should um, be of a medium weight. I, I try to avoid the really thin, lightweight papers because they tend to buckle and fold super easily. And uh, and also you want to have something of substance when you're done so that you can go and if you want to make copies, if you want to do some marker sketching on the back side. And again, that's a topic I'm going to cover uh, on a future video. But today what we're going to do is we're going to translate some of these ideas over to a new drawing. All right, so let me go ahead and revisit some of the phase one sketches. Now, this is where we left off last on phase one. This is sort of my summary of our design concepts. And the whole idea here was to take an existing space and to maybe accommodate some sort of sort of first line of defense um, application here. And uh, again, this is the interior. We're going to do the exterior first as, as a proposal. Okay, so I have this sketch. Uh, in mind. I'm going to take a look at the actual space that I've got going on here. And what I always like to do, guys, is always start with the footprint of the space. So we know this is the entryway and this is sort of the the base of the window that's next to it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to um, triangulate that space so I can have a footprint. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow this line all the way up to the ceiling. Okay, and you see what I'm doing here, guys? Let me see if I can zoom in so you guys get a closer look. I don't think we need to see all of it, but I think it's nice for you guys to see sort of as close as possible some of the detail work that we're going to do here. Okay, now, pardon me as I move the canvas up and down, but as soon as I kind of get enough to look at, we'll go ahead and zoom out, and you'll have a, a closer uh, look at all the details as they pull together. Okay, 
So the first thing you want to do is you want to establish your footprint. Right? Now notice what I'm doing. I'm using the underlay as a guide, so I really don't necessarily need a straight edge. Um, and, and you look at my line work, it's not absolutely perfect. It's going to be a little squiggly, and that's okay. Um, that just means you're thinking about what you're doing, and this has nothing to do with your ability to draw here. Okay, You're just kind of thinking. You're just trying to line up certain things here. Okay. All right. Now, when you're doing this, when you're creating this space, uh, proposed space, what you want to do is uh, you know that there's some areas here that aren't really going to score up, okay? And it's mostly because you're kind of thinking ahead and you're thinking forward. You know you're going to have to do some demo work. You're going to make some modifications. So don't let that stop you, okay? Now, I'm going to decide that this is going to be maybe a, a, a waist height area here. Getting close to the eye, side, eye, eye level. So I'm going to go ahead and do an overlay here. We'll just put a little side note here. Okay, we're going to call this a work counter. Okay, so this is basically standing over that space. There could be maybe um, an area below. That would be uh, foot space. Now, remember my concept. You're going to be kind of standing right in front of the space, so your toes and your feet have to go somewhere, right? If you, if you had a a wall here, it would prevent you from getting closer to the work area. So we definitely want to make sure that this area, this pocket area, remains open so that you can actually walk up to your space. All right. And what we probably want to do is try to reserve this upper space for a more visual uh, access. This could, this means that there could possibly be a mirror. There could possibly be uh, light storage or light weight, let's be clear. And I would say maybe for monitoring. Okay, because what you always want to do is you want to kind of create zones, okay? And zones are something that you, you, you want to be sure that they associate with uh, the user, right? Uh, you don't want to force a visual detail down at the bottom, right? That's 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 going to be uh, not very practical, and for for most part, you're only going to see be looking at that from a distance. When you're up close, standing right in front of this this area, this is going to be your visual zone. This is going to be the area that you're going to be you know, scanning anything you need to look at, what have you. You need to have uh, you know sort of a close inspection. This would probably be more of a task area uh, for hands. Uh, things that need to be within reach, and here this is mostly access. So I'm just going to write the word access. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and do an overlay drawing of the entryway. Okay. Again, that's just a traceover. And it's mostly for a reference. So as you start to develop your idea, um, you don't forget it. Okay. Again, notice how I'm rotating my canvas, okay? I find that this is usually the best way to draw. Um, yeah, a little dark back here, okay? And I do have some steps here. I hope this uh, zoom in is helping you visualize uh, my process as I design. Um, okay. And then I have a little ramp here, which uh, helps with uh, wheeling things in and out of the uh, the space. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe, I don't know, I'm going to keep that. I'm going to kind of table that for now, and I might come back in and make some modifications. Okay, and then I have a veneer wall here, which definitely is not going anywhere. <laughs> okay, uh, this is definitely something I'm not planning to demo. Uh, it's going to stay in place. Okay. So just put a little squiggly lines here. All right, let's zoom. Just go ahead and zoom back out. Oops, a little too much. Okay, there we go. All right. We got one more line here at the ceiling. Okay. 
And this is a, a light. This is something that's very important that we want to keep. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to end this video here uh, because I want to kind of... Uh, transition from here to the actual design translation of the idea you always it's always good to, to create a, a, a sort of this foundation drawing first to uh, note uh, again the zones right and also surrounding structures so that when you start to do more design work that is actually going to be transforming the space right so it has a theme and it, it may you might want to consider something that looks more natural uh, you don't even have to worry about all of these zone details you just draw with these things in mind so that you always make sure that if you lay a detail you got to make sure you make sure make room for the user right and if you want things that look that that you want the user to look at and monitor you make sure that this area is unobstructed Okay, so and, and this area needs to always be high access. You want to be able to to touch and handle and, and do what you need to do in this area. Okay, so now we have our zones established. All right, so so in my next video, we're going to do an overlay over the sketch and uh, start to uh, flesh out the design. All right, see you at the next video.